Hey you all, I hope your day is going great. In this video, we will start working on our budget application. As you can see, I'm in the model store pie file, which is where we are going to be starting out, just because it's kind of the most important part of the app, which is the project model. Just get rid of the comment, and then we can create the class called project, which of course subclass from model store model. And this is going to have a name which is going to be a char field with the max length of 100. And then we also want a slug to be able to better identify every project inside of the URL. So the slug will be a model store slug field. Also with the max length of 100. Unique should be true. And we want blank to be true as well because we are going to auto generate this field upon saving the object as you'll see in a minute. So now we want to have a budget field and it's going to be an integer field. And now we want to overwrite the save method to automatically generate the slug for us. So just dev save and this is going to take in the self, the arguments and keyword arguments. And as soon as the save method is going to be called, we want the self.slug set equal to slugify the self.name. So we want to generate the slug from the actual name of the project, which we of course have to enter in ourselves. And first of all, we need to import the slugify method from django.utils.text import slugify. And then we need to call the actual save method from the superclass. Dot save and pass in the arguments and keyword arguments. And this should be about it for this class. And the next one is going to be the expense class. And of course, we want to be able to store multiple expenses for one project. Model store model. And every expense is going to be, as I just said, going to be linked to a project by a foreign key. And want to set on delete equal to model store cascade. And then every expense is also going to have a title, which will be a char field. And an amount, how much we spend on this particular task, which is going to be a decimal field. And let's set the max digits to about eight with two decimal places. And then we also want to be able to basically group every single expense in a category. And this is also going to be a foreign key relationship to the category model. On the lead is equal to model store cascade. Create the category model. And this one is of course going to be tied to every project because we want every project to have certain types of categories which the user can create themselves. And we can basically just copy this line. It's going to be the same. And then it's also going to have a name which actually tells us which type of category it is such as development or design or whatever. Model store char field. And for this one, the max length of 50 is going to be enough. And yeah, that's about it for all of our models until now. Now go back into your terminal and now you can type a manage.py make migrations and then manage.py migrate. And as soon as we did that, we now want to create a super user to be able to manually enter in some project and see how it goes. So manage.py create super user, username will be username, and now we want to run a server, and for us to actually be able to access our models from the admin interface, we need to go to the admin.py file, and first of all, from.models import the project 
expense and category. And now just simply call admin.site.register project two more times. Should be uppercase C. Now we can head over to the admin. And just log in with our credentials. And you can go to the project tab and just hit the add. And the name is going to be, let's say, desktop app. And it's going to have a budget of 5,000. And also we now want to go to the expenses tab and add a new expense. And for the product we want to select the currently or the product we just made. And the title will be first design. Let's say we spend a thousand on that and can add in a new category called development, just as a very broad name. It's like the project. And we're going to add another expense for the same project. And let's style this prototype. And the category will be, again, the development one. We don't need to create a new one. And now that we got that, we can actually take care of routing the user to the correct project based on the slug. And for that, we need to go to the views. And I left this comment just to remind ourselves. So first of all, we need to import the actual product model from the models import project. And now we want to set the project equal to get object or 404 for the project model. And let's identify it by the slug, which should be equal to the project slug, which we pass to this view. And also we need to import get object or 404. And then as, we, as soon as we return the render, we also want to pass the project in a dictionary, of course. And now we can go to the template, which is the product detail one. So in here, we now want to be able to insert the correct budget value for our project. And for that, we are going to use the template syntax and simply type in project.budget. And this should actually say budget left. And we can just enter some dots. We are going to take care of filling in the correct details later on. And this should say total transactions. And I'll just head down a bit. And you can see that we added some sample allies in. We, we can now get rid of them. And now we want to be able to make a for loop to go through all of the expenses. So for expense in expense underscore list. Then end for. We want to take this one and spit it out using the correct title. Expense dot title and then expense dot amount. And in here it should say expense dot category, which is the actual object and then dot name. And yeah, and now we want to pass in the correct expense list as well. So go back to the views. Okay, now set expenses or expense list equal to project dot expenses. And for us to be able to do this, we need to actually go back to the models. And you can see that we have the project model right here. And for the expense, we need to set the related name equal to expenses. And now whenever we have a project instance, we can call dot expenses. And that should actually work. So we'll just pass in the expense list.
Actually, we don't even need to create this variable. We can just do it like that. We'll be shorter. And now to visit our actual project, we need to pass the slug inside of the URL and we call this desktop app. So the slug should be desktop, then this hyphen and then app. And we get this error and actually we need to go back and instead of project.expenses, we need to use the dot all as well because it's just a manager object. So yeah, you see the 5,000 which we entered in and the two expenses we created in our admin view. So that's working fine. And now in the next couple of episodes, we want to focus on actually enabling the user to add them in inside of the UI instead of going to the admin, of course. So yeah, make sure to stick around for the next parts and cheers.